The first thing that you can do to get people to open up to you is to share something real and authentic about yourself so they feel that they can trust you. The key is to be polarizing by sharing something that is totally true to yourself. For example, when I'm meeting new people and we are making small talk, I like to share how I was the most insecure person when I was a teenager up to my early 20s and that I really struggled with my social life. This will instantly make the other person feel secure because I am self-aware and mature enough to recognize a shortcoming in my life that I improved and that it's okay to have flaws and to talk about them. What makes people feel secure is feeling that you will never judge anything that they share with you. In the same line, everyone is craving to have a friend with whom they can share their deepest struggles and their shame and feel that they are understood and accepted. The interesting thing is that we connect with other people by sharing our struggles and worries about life. In addition, people always mirror your behavior, so by being vulnerable and opening yourself up first, they will open themselves back to you. By the way, I made a video about how to make friends everywhere you go, so I will link it in the description below so you can check it out. So now that you have shared something authentic about yourself, you have to ask them emotional questions. So let's move on to step number two. These are questions related to how they feel. Back to my story of having social anxiety when I was in my late teens, I can ask the other person something like, have you ever felt ashamed or anxious like I did when I was young? The key is that by sharing something vulnerable about myself before, they will feel comfortable about sharing something similar with me. As soon as the other person starts sharing something with you, it's time to enter into question mode. From now on, you will start to pay full attention to everything they say, to how they feel and to how you feel about what they are sharing. Remember that people open up to people who pay attention and understand them. Let's say that in my story, the other person says that he felt ashamed and anxious when he gave a speech in front of his school and he completely forgot everything because he was deadly nervous. I can follow up with something like, how did that make you feel? Tell me about it. Now that I asked, I will stop talking and listen. I will occasionally say things like, okay, aha, oh I get it, so he knows that I'm actively listening and that I care about what he is saying. You can also use statements that show that you are making an effort to understand the other person's emotions, like I guess your anxiety was through the roof, is that right? The idea is that by asking questions and paying attention, you are giving the space and comfort for the other person to open up more and more. Moving on to step number three, never judge anything that the other person is sharing with you unless they ask for your opinion. Every single human being is scared to death of being rejected. Let's say someone shares with you that he thinks college is a waste of time and that entrepreneurship is the way to go. If the first thing you say is that you don't agree with them, you have officially lost all chances of him opening up more to you. This would be reflected in his body language and that's why it's so important to know how to read it. I will put a link in the description to a video I did about how to read people like a book. You don't have to agree with the other person for them to open up to you. You will never completely agree with anyone in the planet and that's why it's very important to never judge something that anyone says, especially if it's something vulnerable that they are sharing. When you verbally tell another person that they are wrong or you criticize them, you are disqualifying their feelings, which is basically rejecting them. If you don't agree with them, it's okay, disagree with them in silence. If you want more people to open up to you, focus on creating a safe environment for them. Moving on, the fourth step is to go deep with them by relating to their emotions and sharing more similar experiences and opinions that make you feel exactly the same way they do. Back to my story, since we are talking about shame and anxiety, I can relate to my new friend by saying this. Oh, so speaking about anxiety, I felt exactly the same way when I approached a girl and I got so nervous that I started sweating and I couldn't speak. It sucks to get frozen, huh? True story, by the way. From there, it's up to you to keep repeating these same steps for the conversation to go deeper and deeper so the other person opens up more to you. 
The secret to get other people to open up to you is to share things that make both of you feel the same way. It doesn't matter if both of you feel shame, anxiety or happiness. The key is to share the same feelings and emotions no matter which they are.